In this video, we're going to give a brief introduction to running some basic statistical hypothesis tests in Minitab. We're going to start with a two-sample t-test. So for example, if we would like to compare the risk scores of males and females, this would be an appropriate situation for a two-sample t-test. And this can be performed by going to the stat basic statistics two-sample t option on the drop-down menus. Now here we actually have both samples in one column and our samples would be the numeric variable which we'd like to compare and the sample IDs would be the binary variable which we'd like to use to split groups. Now under options you can also choose various types of uh, one-sided versus two-sided alternatives and also choose to do equal versus unequal variance. I'm going to check mark equal but of course you should always check both options to see which one would be valid. So in this case we see the output of our test. It gives us some basic summary statistics, for example the means of the two groups, the sample means, the sample standard deviations, and the standard error of the means, which is just these divided by square root of n. And we get the outcome of our two sample t-test. In this case we would reject the null hypothesis of no difference in means between males and females and conclude that males and females do differ in terms of their risk scores. Now for a two proportion test, which would be appropriate if we're comparing two binary variables, for example, birth, sex, and risk level, the similar procedure is to go to stat basic statistics, two proportions. Now for this one, when you select samples, I would think of samples as your column variable in uh, a two-way table and sample IDs as the row variable. So I'm going to select risk level for samples and birth sex for sample IDs, although it doesn't really matter. You'll get the same result either way. And there's also, notice, other options here. If you want to perform the option we've been doing in class, click on this use the pooled estimate for the proportion. All right. So when we hit OK, Notice that once again, here it says events is low risk taker, which means that what Minitab has computed down here, these X's are the number of low risk takers in each group. So for example, there was 56 low risk taker females and 48 low risk taker males. And these then in turn were the sample proportions of low risk takers for males and females. Scrolling down, we can see that the outcome of our test for a difference, 0 versus not equal to 0, null versus alternative, not equal to 0, was significant in this case as well. Now to do a chi-squared test for independence, for that one, you want to go to stat, tables, cross tabulation, and chi-squared. And here, we want to enter one variable, one categorical variable in the rows and another in the columns. Again, it doesn't matter which one you do and which. So let's say, for example, excuse my computer for going crazy there. Uh, let's suppose that, for example, you wanted to compare birth sex with class standing. All right? And we would want those in different areas here. All right? Now down here, there's an option to click on chi-square. And if you check mark perform a chi-squared test, you can also have it show various things like expected cell counts in each cell's contribution to chi-squared. Right. And click OK. Then notice it will do a two-way tabulation of gender, uh, birth sex, excuse me, by class standing here. And also it will tell you the expected cell counts and the chi-squared components for each cell on the table. And at the end, it will give you the outcome of a Pearson chi-squared test. The final test, which we've discussed, which will be relevant for examining your first two research questions from your final project, is ANOVA. And ANOVA can be accessed under the stat menu, ANOVA, one-way ANOVA. And in this case, the response is the numeric variable you're trying to measure. So let's assume that our response is risk score, for example. And then the factor would be the categorical variable which you're grouping uh, items in your sample by. So let's say we wanted to compare risk score for different class standings. All right. There are a whole bunch of options you can explore here. I'm just going to run the basic test for now. All right. okay. This plot right here, what it shows us is the estimated sample means for each group, as well as 95% confidence intervals and the relationships between them. Okay. If we minimize that screen, 
we can actually see the results of the ANOVA test in an ANOVA table similar to what we discussed in class. So here we have our F statistic, we have our p-value, and we can see that in this case there's no evidence of a difference in risk scores for the four different classes.